An Amazon worker diagnosed with tuberculosis and more than 100 potentially exposed. Now health officials are on high alert. To this day, Al Jesus Alegria is traumatized. Two former deputies indicted, accused of crossing the line. How they went from enforcing the law to possibly breaking it. And a new push to stop scenes like this one. Could speeding ticket cameras actually help? This is KCAL News Mornings. Good morning. Today is Friday, April 14th. I'm Rudy Bay Shabazi. And I'm Marcy Gonzalez. Thanks so much for waking up with us here on KCAL News and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. The Grand Prix is here. We are going full speed with a really fun sneak peek. This is such a great event. We are live with all the action and excitement straight from the racetrack in Long Beach. And a lot of people are wondering how the race weather is going to look and the weather in general because yesterday was pretty gloomy. It Alex. was so gloomy. You know, the last few days it's been feeling a little bit more like Seattle. Yes. Less like Southern California. But yes, we are going to finally see some changes as we head uh, into this afternoon. We are looking live over Long Long Beach, and of course, uh, we can see people out there uh, setting up for the Acura Grand Prix this weekend. It's going to be beautiful. Of course, we're starting off the day with low clouds and Long Beach temperatures in the mid 50s. Now, as we head into this afternoon, temperatures will be in the 60s, and we will we'll see most of the clouds clear. We'll see more sunshine. Saturday temperatures in the upper 60s and nearing 70 degrees as we head into Sunday. Let's go to the Inland Empire, where yes, the clouds are filtering all the way into our inland spots area like San Bernardino, Riverside, Redlands, if you're waking up in Fontana this morning. Otherwise, look for temperatures in the upper 60s as we head into this afternoon. Now, if you miss the warmer temperatures, I've got good news for you. Temperatures rise this weekend, but the warming trend will not stick around as we head into next week. Details in your seven day forecast in just a few minutes. Kalina. Hi, good morning. Happy Friday. Let's take a look outside right now. We have lots of traffic building on the five freeway. Also some high winds reported through the Antelope Valley. So if either one is what you're expecting to take today, uh, you might want to leave a little bit early. Here's the five south of the 405 connector. A couple cars involved in this one. I mentioned this earlier. It looks like someone's tire blew out. That driver lost control um, and that added to this crash. We have debris scattered across the roadway. The backup now from the 14, but you can take the 210 to get around some of the delays there. We also have an overall a look at the rest of LA where we're seeing traffic on the five out of Downey into downtown and then heading back up to the Antelope Valley. You'll see signs like this indicating there's high winds along the 14. So again, just be careful if you plan on traveling in a high profile vehicle, leaving you with a look at Orange County and coming up, we'll have travel times throughout the Inland Empire. Ruta Bay, back to you. CBS 2 is now CBS Los Angeles. We are so excited. We just can't hide it. CBS mornings are, well, everything your morning should be. Let's do it! Let's go! CBS mornings, starting at 7. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever. 